Hey everybody, Michael here from Get Fit Over 40 and I wanted to do an update video on my camera and audio gear. It's been a while and there's been quite a few changes the last little bit. I did a bit of an overhaul, got rid of some cameras, picked up some new stuff, added to my drone collection. I guess I, you could say I have four drones now if you uh, if you consider the Hover Era drone. It's kind of more like a selfie cam, but it's it's a drone. It flies and it takes video, so we'll call it a drone. But uh, we're going to go through this table really quickly. I'm not going to go in a lot of detail, just kind of give you a real quick explanation of what I'm using for video and audio and the purpose of each device that I have on the table. We'll leave the drones to last and some of the accessories to last, but I wanted to go over the main cameras. So this is my RX100 Mark IV, and this has been my go-to camera for over nine years. I still have it. I'm going to keep it because it's nice to have a secondary camera with a bit of a zoom that takes pretty good video. It doesn't really do 4K, it does, but it just, it doesn't do it for a long enough time that it's usable. It overheats, just the nature of this camera. It never was really a 4K, you know, camera. From the, You could do it, but it had a very limited amount of time that you could record in 4K. So you couldn't depend on it to make a whole video unless it was really short. But 1080p looks really good. Um, it's been a great camera. It's been very good to me. Biggest problem I had with this was the focusing was slow. Um, the newer Sony cameras are much better, like the one I have now, which I'm going to show you in a bit. It's actually the one I'm using to record, so I needed one to record with, and that's going to be the ZV-1. And uh, that's my latest camera. It's, again, another Sony product with really good focusing abilities. Like, you bring your hand up, there it is, boom. Right, look at that. That's awesome. So we'll just kind of um, go through them all, pick and choose whatever, just in random order. So here we have my Ray-Ban, and these are the Ray-Ban Metas. Uh, they have a charging case, which is cool. I, I use them for shorts and just, you know, I just wear them all the time. They've got AI built in. I can take pictures and Meta will tell me what I'm looking at. They're useful in a lot of ways. They're kind of like using, you know, Google, uh, except for this, in this case, you're using Facebook Meta to do what Google would do for you. And they take pictures, they take video, they have good stabilization and they look cool. They look like Ray-Bans, you know, what you would normally find in a Ray-Ban. So, um, those have been good and you've seen the videos and I've done videos with these glasses and I, I use them all the time uh, because I'm wearing them and they just happen to be on my face. They come in handy and they're quite good quality actually. Uh, so let's um, let's talk about, uh, we'll talk about the Hover Air, mix it up a bit. So this is my Hover Air. This is a selfie flying drone. It's an autonomous drone. It's got all these cool modes. You just basically turn it on, decide if you want it to follow you, if you want it to be in front, if you want it to fly away or go up above and do a circles and, you know, orbits and all those kinds of things. And it, it tracks you. You don't even really have to think about it. It just kind of follows you and does what you tell it to do. And it takes pretty darn good video. It does do 4K video, but uh, it's, um, is it 4K or 2.7? I can't remember. I think it's 2.7K video, but it looks pretty good. And it does you know, you can actually have it do portrait or widescreen. So I can use it for shorts. I can use it for all kinds of things. And the video quality, really, it stands on its own. It, it mixes in with the other video pretty well. I mean, it's not quite as good as a 4K dedicated drone with full, you know, or even a 4K camera with really high level stabilization. But the, it does an incredible job of stabilizing, considering it's flying around in gusty wind and stuff. And I've got lots of videos where I use this. This is a great... Um, device because it's like having your own cameraman following you around. Uh, you could just use it in like sort of like a tripod and have it just hanging out in one spot and following you as you walk around. It just stays motionless there and just tracks you. It's really cool. I love this uh, selfie drone. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about audio. I can only show you part of this kit because I'm wearing the rest of it. But this is my this is my Comica. This is what the C Vimeo C. Right there, Comica Vimeo, Vimeo C. Comes with two of these microphones that when you open the case up and take them out, they automatically turn on and pair to each other. And I'm, I've got one on my camera, so when I show you the camera with one of the other cameras that I'm gonna use, you'll see that I have the basically the receiver on my camera plugged into my camera and it's recording the audio that I'm speaking right now. And this has been an amazing setup for audio. I love it, you can hear it right now, it sounds really good. I, you know, it's got a good range. You can have two microphones going at the same time. So you can do like interviews, you can record in stereo or mono or have one track a little hotter than the other so that you have like a backup track that's uh, that if in case it peaks. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do with it. And it's been super reliable, super dependable, and it's almost idiot proof. And you need something like that when you're dealing with audio. You don't want to do a whole video or record an interview and the audio isn't working for you. 
Um, so we're going to uh, talk about my little Insta360 Go. This is the Go 2. It's the previous version. There's a Go 3 out now. This is awesome. It's just the smallest little camera. And what's cool, when I talk about the drone here in a second, I've got a little drone holder here. I can put it on a drone. And it's so tiny, I can put it on small drones or bigger drones. And you can see here, it's just, oh, now I'm actually recording. So <laughs> I'm recording me. Maybe I'll put that in the video. We'll see. I, I pushed the button, I think. Yeah, I did push this little button and I started recording. So maybe I'll show you the camera now. So this is my, C, my Sony uh, ZV-1 camera. Okay. And it's doing all the recording. You can see the microphone sitting on there. Okay. So I don't know what orientation this is going to be in. Hopefully this works. I might actually do this a second time with the other camera just in case it didn't work. But this is cool because I can... I can put this on in a mount here like this and put it on my drone uh, or I can mount it to my little tiny drone here. I actually got it with elastic bands. I mounted on this little drone um, and I get video from this little guy, believe it or not. It'll fly for a couple minutes with this on there and get some pretty cool, crazy shots. So that's really cool. And this Go 2 is, is nice. It, it records basically in 2.7K, but it records um, in a square. So it's not a wide, it's not like a you don't have to choose whether you're recording when you're in pro mode you don't have to choose whether you're recording in portrait or landscape it just does a big kind of circle so you can choose after the fact how you want to record if you want or how you want to play that video back if you want to go widescreen or portrait so it's nice because it's recording a lot of information even though it's 2.7k when you export it's going to be good in landscape or portrait and look fantastic in either. And it's so tiny. And I mean, there's there's lots of reviews on this thing. I just put it in my pocket a lot of times and just take it with me. Um, and then I can clip it into this little hat. This can clip onto metal. It's got magnets. I put that on myself. Or I can put it on a hat. It's got a hat clip. And just put it on my hat and, you know, wear it there and take, you know, first person video kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, well, might as well talk about the Insta360 X6. This is probably one of the coolest cameras. It literally does everything. 360 video, records in 8K. You can record, uh, we'll just turn it on here. You can record either one lens or both lenses. Um, so there it is. It's pointing at me. I'm just going to really quickly turn it around and I'm going to record. Uh, let's record the camera. Or actually, we're recording. We're recording the backside, so that's okay. So we're recording the camera there. You can see, right? I should have done it the other way, but that's okay. Yeah. So this is the camera setup I'm using. Looking at me, me looking at it, it looking at me. Very cool. All right. So this camera is awesome. Turn that off. Uh, maybe I'll use that video in there. I don't know. But I mean, it's so versatile. Um, stabilization, just you, you can record with it on a selfie stick. Watch the videos, they're awesome. You gotta, you gotta watch a video on what this thing can do. I can't really explain it in this short video here. But literally, you just, you just put it on a stick, put it out in front or behind or whatever, and then later on you decide kind of what you wanna look at because it's looking at everything around you. You don't, like if you took it somewhere, say you went and you did an event and you just put it up there, you could actually, Go back later in time, watch the 360 video, and look at all the stuff that you missed. Because you can only look at one thing with your eyes. So the cool thing about something like this is, you know, if you're doing something that you only have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to do, I would take this and just record what the whole thing. Just take it and record what you're doing. And then later on, you can go back and you can look at all the stuff you missed. You know, you can watch this video probably a dozen times and see stuff that you missed each and every time. So really cool, but it's neat for what I do because I can just record everything and then focus in on what the highlight thing is I want to point out and share that with you guys. All right, so we've covered, I'll cover the drones now real quick. So I've got three drones. This is my Tiny Go. It's a 2.7K. Well, I say 2.7, it's called the Tiny Go 4K because the camera does record in 4K, but it only records uh, interlaced in 4K at uh, I believe 60 frames per second in interlaced. So I use the 2.7K option and record 60 frames per second because you need that 60 frames with, with this type of a drone just to get the, the movement properly. But it does a great job. I mean, for what it is, it does a really good job. Um, you know, and it's an FPV drone. I can fly it just about anywhere. It's super tiny, get in through nooks and crannies and you can see it's covered in grass because I crash it all the time in my lawn, but it still works. That's pretty cool. 
And then I have here, this is the Synalog 20, and this has uh, a DJI Air unit with a nice scratch on the screen, but luckily you don't see it because it's in a spot where it doesn't really see it. But I crashed into the rocks and uh, scratched the screen. Yeah, it's, you, you crash these things, that's what happens. But this guy um, uses a DJI Air unit. It records in 4K 60 frames per second. It's got really good video. Um, and just, you know, even in the headset, the video looks fantastic. So it's super easy to fly because you can really see well what, you know, what's going on with the, with the drone while it's flying because the camera is so good. And I'm looking in, in high definition in 1080p digital when I'm, when I'm following this guy flying. So that's cool. It's going to, it's really useful for if I just want to get some outdoorsy shots, you know, really cool cinematic, you know, or action cinematic shots, I guess you'd call them swoopy stuff, you know, flying down nooks and crannies through rivers and ravines and whatnot through t between trees and stuff. That's what these guys are for. Uh, you can follow, obviously you can follow sports stuff like people on bikes and things. And this is called the Cinerat. This is a three inch. I don't think my camera just turned off the other one. This is a Cinerat three inch. I bought this one recently. And this is the one where I'll be mounting a, the uh, Go 3 on it when I want to actually record with it. But it's a bigger cam a bigger drone. It's a faster drone. It's a very solid drone. It's an analog camera, but I have a nice analog headset that I use with it that I can see pretty good through. So I can fly around using that and then record in, in uh, 1080p or 2.7K with, with this guy, uh, 60 frames per second, and get some really cool video for everybody. And, and again, just some sort of, you know, if I ever go and do something like go to an, a really cool lake or a river or someplace where I can swoop around with one of these guys and get some cool video, that's the plan. All right, some accessories really quickly. This is the, uh, what do you call this thing? I can't even remember the name of it now. Ah, this is the Crane. We'll just call it the Crane 3. I think it's the Crane 3M or something like that. And uh, yes, it's the Crane 3M. And this is a gimbal. And this allows me to put my camera that I'm using right now on this gimbal and get super stabilized shots uh, if I want to do that kind of thing. I don't do it very often, but every once in a while I might want to do some really nice, you know, high level stabilized shots, um, cinematic stuff. That's what this is for. And it's, it's a motorized gimbal, very good quality gimbal. You won't see that me using that too often. You won't see me using it at all because it'll be behind the camera, but that can be super useful, uh, especially if I'm doing, say, an event, a trade show or something like that, and I want really stabilized video interviews, things like that. A couple accessories. Uh, I use, obviously, a light like this guy here. Let's see if this will turn on. Maybe. There we go. Just hold it once. I don't even know how to use half of it. So this one is adjustable for, for brightness and color, which is kind of cool, right? And uh, it's just a simple light, just goes in the shoe. And those, you need a light sometimes, you just do. Um, this little guy allows me to use these selfie sticks. So I just put this up through here and this just mounts on my Insta360 here. So it allows me to mount my, um, my microphone system, and this goes into the USB port on the X3. This is a microphone adapter, and it stays invisible. It's designed to stay along the side of it, so it stays invisible so you don't see it when you're using the selfie stick. So that's pretty cool. And then I've got these different selfie sticks. This is my short one. Not that short, but these are really nice. These are the Insta360 ones. And then this is an even longer one, even longer just goes on forever. And I could theoretically put them together and make a massive selfie stick. A little droopy, but it would work. Um, and then I have this guy, just a little, um, you know, if I want something to extend my gimbal or just use with the Sony camera by itself, I don't want to have a full on gimbal. I've got this guy and what's cool about him is he extends a little bit. So you get a little extension. And then you also have this remote that Bluetooth to it. Um, and lets me record pictures, video. I can even adjust. I can even adjust the. Uh, so if I turned it on, let's see if this will work here. If I turned it on, I can zoom in with it. See that? Isn't that wild? So I'm actually using this remote right now to adjust my camera. So it works really good. Pairs up. I can use it remotely, or I can just pop it back in the selfie stick. And it's a really cool system. This also works as a tripod. If you want it to be a tripod, you can use it as a tripod. So it's nice having all these you know, little accessories that just um, help your devices, make your devices even more useful. 
um, you know, they can cost a bit of money. I can't remember. This was, I think, about $100. I can't remember, but everything costs money, right? You got to pay to play. So that's kind of what I wanted to show you. Uh, you know, I didn't go into a lot of detail about how I use everything, but you can imagine they come in handy for different things. Um, what depends what I'm doing, what I want to shoot, uh, action stuff. Obviously this guy, if I want to have a cameraman that I don't pay and super cheap and just follow me around and do stuff that people go, hey, how did he get that video all by himself? Comes in handy, right? Extra camera angles, awesome. Obviously better audio. Just to have these glasses, they're great sunglasses, and just to take candid shots and, you know, when you're maybe not thinking you need to, you can just record anytime. Those are super useful and they're good quality too. Insta360, it's ready to go, it's with me, it's really high quality. Uh, excellent stabilization, you can put it literally any place, anywhere, and shoot video with it. And then the drones, I uh, haven't done a ton of stuff with them other than just learning how to use them. I've shared some of that video, but those videos, those drones are gonna come in handy uh, for sure when I go and do more action adventure stuff where I, I'm going to, you know, on hikes and going to different destinations where I want to share those beautiful scenic environments with you guys. Those drones will come in handy there. So yeah, that's kind of it. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, take care.